Jamie talk, walks like Naomi Campbell on the catwalk. He's like, Phew. I blink and he goes there because Jamie's got um, very, very long legs. Jamie's very tall. Ciao beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are well and safe. Today I'm so excited to share my first uh, design team for um, happiness and crafting designed by the lovely GK. So this is my first video for May and in May I am bringing you this amazing Daisy ephemera set uh, kit. Uh, of course it's a digital kit so you can just print it off as you need. You know I am obsessed with the pink butterfly from G. Uh, I think that is the best ever digital kit that G designed but unfortunately this one outcome that so I think so far this is my very favorite kit that G designed. Second is the pink butterfly. Be the reason why because I'll show you in just a sec and this is so up my street I love it. Vintage flowers daisies can't get wrong with that. I'm going to show you the kit and I'm going to show you in just a second what I'm going to make with it as well. So I'll do a couple of videos, um, show you what I'm going to make with this. So this is the, this one page, you get a little envelope and that, and I could not resist. I have to do it because I was like, I want, do you know when you got, you got like a child in a candy shop? Yeah, that was me when I printed it off. I could not resist to, you know, start fussy cutting it, put it together. So that's the little envelope and that's the card. So you just folded this in a half. I mean... <laughs> look how cute that is so cute um i'm just i'm not gonna comment every single page but you get all different pockets tags i mean look at this banners more tags and banners you can do little cards you can make uh, uh, junk journal cards tags anything that you want i mean look at this love it that's the clusters and i'm definitely going to do some um, some video with those i'm thinking to use you know how much i am obsessed with with this die uh, it's one of my favorite dice so i've got some of these already cut i guess there um so they will look really nice on a gold Oh, I got so many ideas I want to do and not time to do them. So, and that's the frustration. But yeah, it is what it is, I suppose. Um, so that's that. And then you got one with like washi tapes. I call them washi tapes. They're just like strings. You can do what you want with them. And it's this one there. Oopsie daisy. Like G says that when she dropped things. I love that. Um, as fresh as a daisy. And oopsie daisy love it love it love it love it okay so keep watching guys and i'll show you what i'm going to make with these we're gonna make some banners paper clips yes did anybody say paper clips yes we did so let's crack on right i've done the basis first so i have used for this this is the nowhere near finish but it kind of like kind of like speed it up because you know I want the videos to be straight to the point. Um, two banners, one on the front and one on the back. So it's still a bit wet, so they will dry fairly soon. And this one here is just that embellishments, again, front and back. And on the front, I added another, yeah, if I do like this, you can see. Um, because you know me, more is more. So, uh, right, before we do the gold, I have plenty, well, when I say plenty, it's like a bag full of these gigantic paper clips. I got them from Amazon. Amazon? Yeah, I'm sure it was Amazon. Um, I kind of like, I have different colours and I was trying to match what colours I think it works best with this kit. And I think it's got to be either yellow or um orange because i have tried with black and, and i think it's a bit way too dramatic uh, i have tried with blue i don't like the contrast green is all right but i think it's a, it's a bit too like a neon drink uh, drink yeah i could do with a drink to be fair um a neon 
pink, green, God can speak, um, purple, no way. I love this teal, but I, mm, no, I, I, I don't know. I think um, per, purple, this pink, too bright. So I think we're going to stick with a yellow. On this one here, I just put the bigger, bigger banner. On here, I thought we would do two small ones. So what I did simply put the little banner in there. Let me move things so you can see. And then you simply fold it. Yeah, so you create a little tab that fold over. So we're just gonna put some more bill, bill glue there. Okay, very, very simple. Uh, I just wanna say uh, thank you to, um, well, first of all, the new subscribers, you guys are awesome. Um, and also to the lovely comments I received on my last video on Friday when last week when I was talking to you uh, talk to you guys about uh, the tradition of my hometown and so I feel like in every video I will trying to give you not like tips but I kind of like tell the story yeah that's the right that's what I was trying to say uh, the story is about my hometown so in that video I have told you that um in terms of how the people work um it's very different because there is a two three hour siesta in between the shift so everybody goes home uh, what i want to talk to you today uh, so on this banner here that we're going to put on top we got to trim roughly there so when i you got you know guys i got this horrible sound when i put things on the desk it's due to the metallic um camera stand it makes an awful echo and I, I apologize when you hear that metallic noise. I can't control that, I'm afraid. Tried all different things. So, um, and then what we're gonna do guys, we're going to glue that on top of that. Very, very simple. Um, so one thing I want to talk to you today, um, this is more a general Italian thing, but it's mostly, um, it's most common again in the south you need to think guys italy is a big country that has got 20 regions and 20 regions that are very very different from one another we have several dialects so people from the north will not understand the people from the south if they speak dialect and vice versa um, so there is a lot of tradition and it's very folkloristic in a way that every region has got their own saint and way of Catholic celebrations and all that. So you need to think Italy as as a big country, which is very, uh, you know, it's very united, but with 20 different identities. Um, so, but overall, um, in Italy, there is a concept of square. So in england for example you got the concept of high street so you got every city center is going its own high street so there's normally like big roads or avenue if you are from the usa when you got all the shops uh, and normally it's in the city center then you got the retail park that there are uh, shops that are far away normally um motorways or you know far away from the center when they build um little shops around uh, into more like a little park so you park there and you go and shop in italy this doesn't exist we do we don't really have a, a concept of high street but we have the concept of squares so every city or town has its own square uh, and this square is where all the monuments are and all the bars and restaurants are sometimes you go shops and also from the square you go all the road and the streets imagine like a sun have i got a pen yeah so imagine like now i need a piece of paper piece of paper there it is so imagine like a sun shape so you got the square there am i in shot yeah so you got the square there and you got all the road that going in and out of the square so that's where you normally have your monuments your benches 
um, and then you go all your road, you normally go the restaurants and the shops, and then all these roads, they got their own shops and restaurants again. So it's, it's kind of like, you need to think like how the Roman built their empire. So the Romans had the forum, which is again, was the piazza. That's what it's called, piazza, which is, in English will be square. And that is the concept of people getting together and talk like a social event okay so that's how it is in italy so you've got this in my home village um there are two big squares uh, fairly close to one another we're talking about five minutes walking distance and around these squares there are beautiful bars beautiful independent shops we do have chains in italy like h&m zara um Benetton, I can't even think now, but also we got loads, loads, and loads, and loads of independent shops. This is how it is. Um, so you've got lots of bakeries, independent bakeries. So you've got like families business. They're going on for century. They actually made their own bread, their own, you know, croissants and stuff like that. So you need to think slightly different from, you know, if you're watching from the UK or Australia, because I've got viewers from Australia or USA. Um, and this concept of squares, again, is coming from the Roman as they build the piazza, which is called piazza as a formal social gathering okay so the house that we saw in italy that me and jamie fall in love with funny enough is in between the two squares so we will be able to walk in the two squares well one is literally two minutes and i'm not exaggerating it's literally 120 seconds i mean jamie talk, walks like naomi campbell on the catwalk he's like Phew. i blink and he goes there because jamie's got um very very long legs jamie's very tall i am tall but he's taller than me so when he walks he walks really fast so i start conversation and i turn around and i'm on my own because it's like he's he arrived there so if i don't pay attention you know i can um i don't know if i put my lace the lace shoes up or whatever he's already arrived and i'm still like in the beginning of the journey he walks really fast anyway so, uh, what's going to say? So, the house that we saw that we fall in love is in between the two squares, which made it a really, for a tourist point of view, it is an amazing location because you can go to the two squares walking. So, you don't need a car. Um, and that is an amazing selling point. Um, hence why that house, we believe, is going to go because of this amazing location. Um, so, yeah, so finger, finger, fingers crossed. Uh, but that is want, uh, what I wanted to talk to you guys today. Um, so I thought every video I kind of like tell a little story so you can understand how Italian people live and how the, the way you're living is so much different. Um, and that's, uh, you guys f fully understand why we want to move back. Okay, so yeah, so that's what I wanted to talk to you today. This video is going to be very long, uh, but it is what it is. So you saw me put the banners now in other videos i've done uh in the past you saw me um making using some embellishments so nothing stops you let me see if i got anything else no i haven't got anything ready made but what you can do if you want to you can go mad and add what i call jewelry which is like embellishments um i don't i don't mind that little thing there i probably should have put one in between i not thought about that but um yeah am i might gonna leave it actually but just to give you some idea but you can go mad so you can have these banners and then behind it maybe there something that goes really really long because you can use as i said you can use that as a bookmark uh, bookmark sorry or you know is a it's actually a paper clip so if, if you've got a page okay like this so this is full function oops what am i doing this will function like that but it will stop you there because no sorry what i'm talking about it can go up to there okay and that is the reverse so it still will work as a paper clip, but also will give you like little tabs. As you can see, I am using copy paper. So these banners are quite flimsy. So 
can you hear it so it's really really thin but what you can do well you can either print this kit on a thicker cardstock or you can use a cardstock that you have um, and glue the print on top of the cardstock so that will make the banner very very strong okay so i'm gonna let it dry completely um in fact you need some glue in there because otherwise you're gonna drive me insane yeah so i'm gonna let it dry completely and then we're gonna put some gold of course what did we all say we all love gold repeat after me we all love gold um so we're gonna do gonna put this um and then i will be right back and i'll show you the final pieces okay okay we have a little incident <laughs> um in the two banners the one we just made together as i was putting the gold with my finger i turned it by mistake so i pulled it too hard and it broke so yeah so we won and i'm trying to scrape this off and it's not working so it's not gonna work so what i've done so that's the two simple ones so this one here and this one there with the gold finishing now on this one here the what i did i had remember i showed you in the last video um some lace i got from italy from my mum. she kindly donated it to me so in between the two layers so this is the piece this was the little note note um note piece so i folded in a half you can probably see better there and in between two layers of paper i put a little um a little lace there you can probably see better if I do that. And then on top, I rescued the banner that just, you can tell that just teared off. And that's the final piece. I love it. It's huge. <laughs> um, and it's, it's quite heavy, but I think it's beautiful. I really, really like it. So if I find something that is white, um, mm -mm -mm, just looking on the floor, looking at the desk. Um, no, I haven't got anything white, but I got blue. <laughs> which is, is a nice contrast. So yeah, you can probably see this into, into the entire. I love it. Really, really like it. So again, it's, it's just an idea that you can do anything you want. So you've got two more simple ones and one with the lace. Okay, guys, that is it for today. I hope I gave you some uh, ideas and inspiration. If I did and you like this video, please consider in give me a big, big, big thumbs up because it really, really helps the video and the channel to grow. Thank you ever so much for watching, guys. And until next time, stay safe and well.